Hey Gox here. Today I'm going to talk about the changes I'd like to see in Mutt going forward. So let me know in the comments section after you watch the video your thoughts. Just Mutt today, not gameplay. Anything like that, of course, like, subscribe, become a member for the ebooks. So, what seems to be missing in Mutt? Because there's not a lot of consternation about it. And I think my most disappointing thing is that, like, you know, people are angry, but they're angry every year at Mutt, and uh, uh, that's just, like, normal. But it feels like there's less passion than usual. And I think that's, you know, the biggest uh, uh, problem, I think, in any game is, like, people getting you know less caring about it so like i think my biggest issue with mud above all is ea doesn't seem to understand the gameplay loot of what brings us back to mutt right the menu grind is one of them there's a lot of different players right there's 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 tons there's you know the head to head grinders the comp dudes like you know there's a lot of head to grinders that just literally play madden online in the main menu lebron james is one of them mutt is catering a pretty decent job through its rewards and stuff to a decent amount of the online head to head the competitive side uh they brought in solo seasons for like solo grinders that kind of stuff uh but it definitely feels like they're leaving off i would say like if we're gonna make it into comparison between real life like you know the head coaches would be like the people playing the game whereas a lot of people in mutt they like to be the gm the assembler of the team the fantasy football players the people that look at this and then watch their players rack up uh points that kind of stuff like they like to assemble the team that right and we'll talk about chemistry all that stuff that's going forward so it feels like ea doesn't seem to understand that they should hopefully cater to all of them with all of the changes they've made at least to mud itself it's kind of it's made it pretty bad for a good portion of their audience okay and that you're gonna see this a lot going forward I, uh, first suggestion let's be in the go back to nats so we can set cards sets are a big deal of mutt you see it in fifa we'll talk about it in a second and how important that are. i guess eafc how important that is oh with their like every day they come out with new sets for new like you know, uh cards and rewards and packs and stuff people will literally get into a game mode i it rushes unplayable because people are just addicted to the pack opening and the stuff that you can get from rewards you got to understand how important that dopamine hit of a good reward happens like you could do that multiple ways through nats and 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 being able to recycle those nats back into more sets now i like a little bit of the changes they did with the halloween promo right at the end with those sets that you can kind of get like a, a champion for the next promo um and a lot of people are like well eas the spcs are completely different than mutt yeah that's a thing okay i get it they're gonna be run differently but that doesn't need to be the big problem with it okay um their gameplay loop and it's it's kind of funny to see it like eafc after they hired i don't know the fuck accountant or something so long ago um how much they've really leaned into this because eafc is is much less rewarding their packs are much worse than madden and yet people are addicted to that you can look at the numbers just the uh, the engagement alone socially uh youtube twitch that kind of stuff is insane for eafc you're like oh it's worldwide but i have like like middle american like a football fanatics playing eafc because they enjoy that game more um it, 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 you can just go ahead and look at it it's because of the the loop of it okay so for for madden imagine an example where you can exchange a certain overall team you get any card 89 to 90 overall nat and then like if that card's not good you can go ahead and recycle it into the next one where you can put in another card now you say oh hey fox we got cards you can exchange up for any sort of let's take a look these these 84 85s um and yes these are nice the problem is like it's it's a very restrictive we go to core set it's very restrictive they're almost always losers and that's fine but you can only put in auctionable cards and the highest overall card you can get right now is 82 to 83 overall overall now we have other sets that you can get guaranteed and like you can you know pick one of your five those are fine but i want like those those b and d's that we've earned to allow them to be utilized in these sets going forward make it a little bit more fun for that for like the, the grind that kind of thing instead of all sets being massive l's training value wise a little bit now a little bit of gambling in them and i know ea is gonna like make gambling sets they make you know we have our re-rolls which are kind of like the sets but the problem with those things is they're massive l's and we'll talk about in a second why that is not a great replacement because of how uh uh just unenjoyable they are also other big sets right we used to have like silver master gold master like uh, collect like 100 different silver cards 200 different silver cards all of a sudden you get 90 overall uh casey hayward i think he may have been actually a gold master a long time ago so like the ability to like collect low cards for big sets right team diamonds like how enjoyable is the team diamond grind for people the team diamond sets like have more of that out there for us um or, or gotta collect them all set every card in the game um would be a wild set well without 
limiteds hopefully but like just releasing that hey guess what good luck <laughs> like or like other crazy sets like a poker set or like i know you don't want to lean into gambling but uh you could just like make them poker sets without saying they're poker sets collect four of a kind um full full house um or or just packs themselves okay say say packs and in that pack there's a uh, three of a kind or all all the cards are like a similar overall you get four uh 76 overalls in a pack boom four of a kind bonus 10 20 000 coins i don't know just silly things like that to add to mutt to deepen the engagement with it versus just kind of like doing the same thing over and over because a lot of mutt it feels to me is not like them doing fun things it's just them you know got some funky art for akas but we've been doing that for a while now there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of innovation in the game they don't seem to be trying anything new except for you know i gotta give them credit shout out to the new game modes that's awesome uh but i kind of want more in the mutt menu grind itself um and then like you know 6v6 coming so shout out to that for some of the things they've added that wise but mutt itself needs an overhaul okay here's other other fun like these are just like random ideas we got spin the wheel come out player packs packs inside packs bring that back uh mlb actually stole that idea from you guys and, and they're doing it now incorporate the old football vibrating game and some sort of rewards function right after completing a solo season or something but like the longer guy goes down the field the better reward you get i don't know just you know more rewards that offer enjoyable distractions right because flash and presentation are very important this is video games they're games they're enjoyable give us something some memorable stuff uh some big moments and it, you got to keep doing that so also like along with this it's like why did you get rid of all the cards in the packs right the pack trash is supposed to be the fun look at eafc again like i, I hate to keep pointing that game but they do pack trash correctly and then like being able to open a pack and your experience is two cards is insane to me or an entire bundle a hundred dollar bundle will be three cards a hundred dollars for a chance at the the you know division champ or whatever player is crazy me now obviously if these one coin packs yeah it can be just one coin uh one card in a pack it is what it is but i, I need like and then like giving us all these b and d's there's nothing we can do with it like a2 is not going to go in a lineup whatsoever so the chance we'll get a lineup card that we can use is low it's for like day one accounts you, you can do this for a little bit then otherwise it's just training like you gotta give us something more fun to exchange these things up into and you can argue like i said training is the exchange we'll get to these in a second okay but give us an, an nat set to trade up once again once again i'm reiterating that i've said like three times this video alone and then like some of the most beloved things some of the most memorable moments in your game you just kind of like left them 10 years ago like why aren't cornucopias one of like it was a huge set to grind for and it gave us a crazy pack that had one card from every promo released and then it had four special cards you could put one of the, one of the four cards that were only available in the pack what an incredible job they did there and you just like no there might they might be having too much fun like why is fun a four letter word at ea it's it's so because there's too much value it's gotta be the rule of cool man it's gotta it's gotta work that way over anything else when you do in a video game it's not like people are gonna be spending less okay, the only way they're spending less is if like you, you know you glitch out 30 million coins in 20 minutes but otherwise like these things will just bring more people into the fold all right let's move on to the chemistry uh, system and the strat why is it so underdeveloped like you, you know you, you changed the lipstick on the pig this year when you moved it from a, a tab to the left side of the lineup but it's really not been anything the strategy items they haven't changed why is there not some sort of crafting spot for it like we're making diablo level uh, uh drops and differences of of items right the fact that it's like all right here's a pack open it and it's the same strats we've been using for four years is such an underutilized portion of your game it's crazy because you gotta understand customizing the squad getting it working specializing your team with attributes chemistry and ability should be part of the core, core gameplay loop of mutt people love these rpg things and the fact that you're kind of just like ah, it's there i got you can add some zone to some guys it just feels like it's like barely thought through barely tacked on and it just doesn't make too much sense to me to even keep it in the game when you're just kind of like let it go you, please please iterate on it make it so much better there's so many things you can do with strat items and drops to help your top uh your squad out and i get you gonna like oh we did commons and uncommons and then rares and it's gonna get better through the year it's boring make it more enjoyable 
the drop system needs to be better on your on your cards okay um and then like the chemistry system you've been doing theme team chemistries you've done uh most feared chemistries i feel like you can go more into it i feel like you're afraid of doing more than just like plus ones and i would say you don't really want to dip too much into speed but like the rest of it allow us to really customize our lineup like i would be fine like just for a change up one year let's let's go in and go out quick adventure try go back to madden 16 madden 17 typing uh, putting specific chems on cards giving them crazy bonus say you got like you know an entire defense that has the three four uh chemistry on them so you go nickel and, and then like they get like crazy bonuses again not to speed don't get me wrong not to speed not to acceleration not to change direction but the rest of it should be open a everything else should be on the table because nothing else is truly that powerful in mutt um obviously block shed the stats do matter but nothing's as overpowering as speed acceleration or agility in your game um with specific you know to the first part you can allow us to go crazy with the customization because like what's great about the chemistry system is that there's give and take to it right like creating an entire three four chemistry defense in the past because there were so many different chemistries built onto each card it didn't allow us to fully go like god squad so if you wanted the best squad you can just have the best squad or you can have a three four squad which you'd have like massive holes in places and whatnot but you would be pretty good bonuses if you got it maxed out that kind of thing so the give and take of the chemistry is a big deal and it's one thing that like you've kind of gotten away with in in recent years with cards that give every that every single card like mike allstott getting Steelers or all 32 teams i don't like that right make theme teams a sacrifice not just oh now you get plus one speed like you keep nerfing it because you keep basically during the year allowing cards to get every single 32 all, all 32 theme team chems so therefore it's like well it's obviously overpowered if it's so easy to get every single theme team out there and there's no holes right the point of getting these bonuses is to have like a silver right guard just to, to max out a wide receiver to get faster but if like the best receivers also have an amazingly top end offensive line because we have team captains that we can max out that kind of thing it kind of takes away from the specialness of running with your theme team to get like maybe tyree kill up to 95 speed but of course you're running with the dolphins offensive line so that's kind of the uh, uh hopefully they go back to more trade-offs to build your uh roster and your theme team all right, next up, more scheme-specific cards, like someone that's really good at blocking one stuff, suffers to something else, line with the good run blockers, bad at pass, etc. It feels like every single card now that's like within an overall, like the same overall is very, very, basically the same stats. Maybe within one or two differences in each spot. Too often do they like, you know, I'm thinking back to like Madden 16 time when cards actually represented how they were on the field. And then all of a sudden, due to a variety of reasons, whether it's laziness or want to make a more competitive product, everything's been scrunched. Everybody's within like the same uh, speed number same block shit number run block number and it's made kind of for a boring product where a lot of the cards you know we, we can't look at the attributes we can only look at the abilities and if a new card comes out with a new ability okay now all of a sudden it's good and then every ability card every card comes out and they get those abilities after that it it, it kind of frustrates and, and kind of takes away the individualness of certain players because like oftentimes in the past larry fitzgerald cards would be slow and so nobody would use them but now with the ability system a slow player but say he has a good ability you're like whoa i don't know man if he's catching everything over the middle of the field that that's got value if he's catching you know sideline routes like sure my clear routes can be fast my Larry Fitzgerald a little slower and then he's gonna catch everything along the sidelines that's good scheming that's good football and I, I feel like they just kind of gotten away from it I still have no idea when I, why we're not going back over 100 stats and attributes I, it, it makes no sense to me whatsoever I think Mutt Leaks proved a few years ago that over 100 speed works I hope they end up doing this because this improves the longevity of the game versus just unlocking cheaper and cheaper abilities please let us get up to like 140 five speed like so that way we don't have to feel so restrictive i just talked about that one yeah i was like wish well, you bring my salary cap i'm fine with it either way if you do or don't bring your salary cap back uh when are we getting formation subs like franchise has it in mud i would enjoy not having to take the time at the beginning of every game to do formation subs i love that i don't have to do custom audibles that's amazing so hopefully they do something with formation subs too going forward uh might be might be difficult but that's what you get to pay the big bucks for bring back the trade block uh, i mean it's a simple solution allows I, I, like it's cost me so many coins having to buy cards out the blocks and sell them back take massive l's versus just borrowing cards for a stream just like bring it back and then every t single time a card is traded get rid of its quick sell value you make it b and d whatever you need to do allow us to trade allow friends and, and team uh, teammates that are on like uh, squads together make somebody get the offense somebody get defense they can trade and stuff it's just it's a trading card game why shouldn't we have a trade block please re-rolls let's talk about re-rolls okay 
so statistically according to grant and you know i've seen i've seen a, a few other uh stats joker just recently did a big one too but when he got that uh cunningham glitch the, they're returning about 45 percent of what you put in okay um over like just that's the large sample of roles some are some are a little bit better some are a little bit worse but overall it's about 45 so every time you hit this button for training uh uh for these these most feared like the problem isn't okay ea doesn't seem to understand this right they go super conservative with this so that way they they always end up ahead it's like you know, being in a fantasy football league that like hey uh would you mind trading me ray davis i believe in his future yeah sure just give me lamar jackson for him it's like what what like stop making us trade lamar jackson for ray davis ray davis got a lot of potential but lamar jackson is a fantasy football stud stop making us put in 900 training when the card on a large sample size is 450 because you guys are afraid of glitches or like whatever it is like the problem isn't these packs being like we're not making money off these packs okay and like even the gambling like your screw-ups are what screws this up okay the odds make us not want to play the game you're literally driving us away just don't screw up your packs going forward and you should turn your odds up to what a slot machine is when i'm asking ea to improve their odds to make them closer to what gambling's odds are you know something's gone fundamentally wrong so please i beg you and this is like what i'm talking about with those sets those b and d's like these are kind of our uh, uh you know take our old cards melt them down bring them in the new cards type of like fifa stuff but the return on so horrible it makes it unenjoyable please that we're begging for these things to be better we had one good role last year it was a tyree kill when he was released as a limited he came out remember when he had limiteds popping for aka uh earlier i think it was last week now like that was that was cool that was fun time they weren't even that good like uh in the uh, in the long term we still lost but it was fun while we had it well actually i don't know i think the ak packs overall most people won on those so those were those were probably glitched out but i will say please 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 one more begging please hang out just like average slot machines would be so awesome i'm not saying give us a loophole and make us profitable but at least give us something longer to do when we're grinding your menus all right now some quality of life changes the catalog doesn't always update right away unlike ea to uh implement something one year and then kind of just like let the whole thing degrade so weird huh dailies are too annoyingly high why college football dailies are so much better why did you change them i i suspect the reason is to try and get us to grind the game longer every day so you can tell your boss metrics are up but like this is that's not a cool way of getting people to play your game right that's like short-sighted that's mr magoo level of uh development if you just give us the fun things you won't need to sucker us in on uh the wheel that we all jump on to, to be rats and, and you know get your experiment funded by the government or whatever like I, i'm kind of off the deep end with my analogy here but just go back to regular like i hate dailies themselves i hate them in concept all right because people can't play every day that's not how life works weeklies i'm a little bit better with okay because some people might only be able to play one day a week and you know taking away items on the field pass from them is kind of rude just for your metrics anyways i don't know why there aren't more uniforms in the games like we used to be able to customize it but ea patched that like what what's up with the uniforms i know you sell uniforms but like why not i don't know do you sell uniforms anymore i never bought them maybe you don't sell them you can get them to like the pass select offers do they sell uniforms <laughs> I always ignore that. Okay, so you can get like uh, nothing. Okay, so they don't, they don't even sell it? Yeah, uh, they don't even sell uniforms anymore. So you can't even say, oh, the business needs to be able to sell uniforms. Give us more uniforms just flat out. Makes no sense to me why you don't. You, you lock them behind like seasonal rewards for weird reasons. All right, that's it. That's my list. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want in the comments below. Bye.